one whole half hour behind myself. <laughs> what conceived this unheard of occurrence? You mean, why was I late? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it was all the fault of that damn fool, Suraji Rao, to whom I was selling a cow. Very bad rhyme. Shut your cakey hole. <laughs> what happened when he finally arrived? Oh, all hell was let loose. When Sergeant Major Saab came into concert party Basha and found them all asleep, he was so beside himself with furiousness that he set them on five-mile route march. Five-mile distance? Ah! It will kill them. And it will not do their feet any good either. <laughs> concert party is very quiet this morning, Ashwood. I yes. can't hear a thing. Yes, if you just start a rehearsal by now. You cannot hear them, sir, because I have sent them on a route march. A route march? What on earth for? Sir, I went into their quarters this morning, half an hour after Rivali, and there they all was. Bashing their char boys. Doing what? They was all fast asleep, sir. I awoke Gunner Graham, who said, I am not getting up today, I am going white cargo. White cargo? It's a, a term, sir, used by British other ranks. It means uh, going native. Don't you remember, sir? There was a play called White Cargo. Yes, that's right. And there was a beautiful native girl called uh, Toodaloo or something. <laughs> Tondaleo, sir. Tondaleo, that's right. And she drove all the chaps mad. Oh, but it's, it's the heat, you see, sir. It sort of arouses the, uh, well, arouses yes, the... Yes, all right, I know what the heat does. <laughs> I shall never forget the scene, sir. There they were, all these chaps lying around in the heat. Suddenly, the door opens, and this beautiful, dusky creature slides in and says... Excuse me, Sergeant Major Sarp. Shut up! <laughs> what do you want, Pera? Sergeant Major Sarp, there is loud cloud of dust coming through Gateway, and I think it is concert party returning. Get out, Charlie, Charlie. You're too kind. <laughs> How far did you send them, Sergeant Major? Oh, just down to town and back, sir, five miles. How can you be sure they did the full distance? Mm. I told Bombardier Solomons to get me two tickets for the kinema, sir. That's pretty smart, Sergeant Major. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. Bombardier Solomons and his bunch of layabouts will have to get up pretty early in the morning to catch me out. <laughs> left, 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 right, left. Mark time! Good! Halt! Fall out! Stand still! What do you think you're doing? Get properly fell in! Move yourself, move yourself! Stand in these properly! Stand still! <laughs> Swoon! Show! Oh, my dear. Sir! What do you mean by falling out? We were feeling a bit thirsty, sir. Thirsty? A little walk in the sun and you were thirsty. You've got no control as you were trouble. I wish I had a pound for every time I've been thirsty. But then, I am a soldier. Not a Nancy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who paints his face and prances about on the stage. <laughs> Gonna park his duty man amongst you. Sure is back, boy. <laughs> Find better shoulders, show them off, show them off. <laughs> right. You will stand out here in the sun, properly fell in, till I tell you you can dismiss. I will make men out of you. It's the last thing I do! Have you got my tickets? Yes, sir. Three rupees is not a very good film. <laughs> Shut up. It's worth three rupees to get you lot on a route march. Shawala. If I catch you just once more on my veranda again with that filthy char urn, I'll take your pass away and have you off the camp! Shut up! <laughs> At 1,200 hours, I will inspect all tea urns. And they better be clean. Plenty of Safkaro, Mullum, plenty of Safkaro. I want to see my face in the bottom of every urn. <laughs> <laughs> what horrible thought. <laughs> Chuggy, Chuggy! Who is that? Who is that? Chuggy! Oh! <laughs> it's disgraceful, that's what it is, disgraceful. Fancy making an artist like me stand out here in the sun. <laughs> my arms will go all red. <laughs> How can I wear my, my Ginger Rogers dress in the show tonight with red arms? <laughs> what would you say? I, I have one idea. I will loudly shout out, someone is fainting. 
Then one of the Saabs can fit. Then Sun Major Saab will come out and he will dismiss you. Yeah, it might work. We don't want to get into trouble, Solly. Crawler. Here, Paderewski. Yes? You faint. Uh, well, actually, Solly, I, I don't think I ought to. I, 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 I might damage my hands when I fell. All right, Atlas, you do it. I don't think so, Solly. I'm not very good at the acting. You can play that game. <laughs> if we were only on parade, you'd have your Shut teeth up, to play both with. of you. Lofty, you faint, and that's an order. Why me? Because you're nearest the ground. <laughs> Good heavens! Somebody is fainting! Come on, what did he faint? Ah. No, no, I do not think he hurts up. Oh, blimey. We better do it again. Louder this time, Lofty. All right, Randy. Watch us up. Good heavens! Somebody is fainting! <laughs> He's coming, sir. Go on, get on with it, Lofty. Ah. What the hell's going on? Leave him, leave him, you're on parade! <laughs> What's the matter with him? He's eating dust, sir. Shut up! <laughs> Turn him over, Bombardier. Sir! But, Sergeant Major, if he, if he stares in the sun, he'll go blind, Sergeant Major. He'll go blind, Sergeant Major. <laughs> <laughs> By the look of him, I know what'll turn him blind and it won't be the sun. <laughs> You please. Stop. Now nobody move till I say so. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. What? Have you gone? Yeah. <laughs> not very really nice down here. It's not very nice up here either. <laughs> Missed your line down. Sorry. What? I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> oh, blimey, we can't go on like this. Gloria, do your stuff. You mean the full performance? Yeah, give it everything you've got. It's not much of an audience. It's not much of a performance. <laughs> Shut up, now get on with it. You'll get an audience. Would you mind, Paddy? Y yes, yes, of course. Hurry up. Yes, All right. I can't stand any longer. I can't stand this heat, this heat, and the flies, the flies! <laughs> Somebody turn the sun up! Please turn the sun up! I can't stand the sun beating down! Please, please! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're gonna bargain. Yes, sir. Stand still. I feel better now. That lie mm. down did me good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now listen to me, lovely boys. I am very worried about you. In fact, I cannot sleep at night. I am so worried about you. You are not fit. Do you know why? No, Sergeant Major. You are forgotten how to be soldiers. He never does guard duties, parades, pickets, drills, nothing! All you do is paint your faces and ponce about on the stage like a bunch of tarts! <laughs> <coughs> it's gone on long enough. You know what? I am going to go into the office and I'm going to whisper in the Colonel's ear. I am going to tell tales. I am going to tell him what a weak need, namby pamby bunch of Nancy boys you are! <laughs> That's all. <laughs> this mess! Go to hell, go to hell! Shut up! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something about a soldier. Something about a soldier. Something about With the result, sir, I propose to put the concert party on guard duties and fire pickets, uh, just like any other soldiers in the depot. But what about the show? Quite right, Ashwood. You took the words out of my mouth. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir.
They only does the show three times a week, so the rest of the time they spend skiving out of things. Yeah, but you can't have the council party doing guard duty, such Major, that they've all got different hats. <laughs> Could give me authority to draw uniforms, sir. You know as well as I do that this is a holding unit. I'm not authorized to issue new uniforms until they're posted up the jungle. Is that your only objection, sir? Yeah, of course uniforms? It is. Of course. I think it's a very, very good thing for soldiers to do guard duties, don't you, Ashwood? Oh, absolutely first class, sir. It's good for their morale. Yes, I mean, they enjoy brassing themselves up and polishing things and looking smart, don't they, Ashwood? Oh, they absolutely revel in it, sir. But <laughs> all these different hats, I mean, it's just not on, not on at all. Sir. That's it then. Arts. I gotta get them arts. And uniforms. Thing is, how do I go about it? I could blackmail the quartermaster. After all, I did catch him drying the old tea leaves in the sun and flogging them back to the charwallers. <laughs> and the colonel would want to know where the uniforms come from. Solomon's. He could scrounge hats and uniforms. I'll talk him into doing a military sort of song. And once they're all in the same uniform, I got them. <laughs> Armory guard, camp guard, pulling a flag up in the morning, taking it down at night. The list is endless. Look at them. All red raw from those rough boots. I mean, how can I do my Ginger Rogers with great big cones on my toes? Don't worry, sir. I know one very old Indian scientific remedy. I will wrap them in poultice made from very old mango skins and certain parts of the water buffalo. They will make the feet all soft and white like Ginger Rogers, but with different smell. <laughs> so much, yeah. boys. Here we are, all of you boys. Don't get up. Sit down. Sit down. One, tweet, tweet. <laughs> you know me, lovely boys. On parade is on parade. Off parade is off parade. Which are we now? Off parade! <laughs> off parade. <laughs> now, pay attention to me, lovely boys, because I am going to talk to you like I was a Dutch uncle. Sergeant Major Saab, while you are being uncle, would you like to partake of one nice cup of tea? Shut up. Yes, uncle. <laughs> now, I wouldn't like you boys in a concert party to get the idea that I don't like you. I do like you. You are very necessary. The men who come through this depot must be kept amused to take their minds off where they is going. Up the jungle, Sergeant Major. Correct, Gunner Graham, clever boy. <laughs> University education, lofty. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. <laughs> yes, them brave boys got to be entertained. But why, I ask myself, do you have to dress up as girls? <laughs> you know, you might not believe this, but uh, I used to do a bit of a turn once. You. You didn't, Sergeant Major. You just said he did. Shut up. What did you do? I shouted to think. <laughs> well, uh, I just joined the army and I stood on this platform as a soldier singing a song for soldiers. On the road to <laughs> Where the flying fishes play And the dawn come up like thunder Out of China across the bay <laughs> That's a beautiful song, isn't it? <laughs> and it's a real soldier song. I thought it was a song about flying fish. <laughs> yeah, I know. I could do Sister Susie's sewing shirt for soldiers. Dressed as an ATS girl, you know. Belt up, Gloria. <laughs> Thank you, Bombardier. <coughs> hey. What? What you ought to do is sing that song dressed as soldiers. I mean, uh, proudly standing there wearing jungle green, say? Bush hats? Uh, uh, without the piano, so that uh, none of you is missing. <laughs> Sing it like men, uh, side by side with uh, rifles, all dressed alike. 
<laughs> All dressed alike. That'd be a bit difficult, wouldn't it? I don't know. I could get the uniforms from the QM. Could you? <laughs> yeah, cool. He owes me a favour for helping him flog all that dry tea to the charwaller. Oh, aye. You as well, was it? <laughs> Leave all that to you, Bombardier. Sorry. Hmm? <laughs> oh, boys, but uh, I tell you this. If you could do a number like that, I would be able to treat you altogether different. And that's a promise. <laughs> Give it a thought, love you boys. Give it a thought. Hmm? They sold you mad. They sold you mad. <laughs> He's obsessed, that's what he is, obsessed. I've never seen him like that before. He was quite nice, wasn't he? I think I preferred him when he was his normal beastly revolting self. <laughs> Well, maybe there's another side to him. You know, a split personality. Yeah. One side's rotten, and the other side's rottener still. <laughs> What's he up to, Solly? I don't know. If you ask me, he realises he can't get rid of us, and he's waving the flag of truce. <laughs> the, the olive branch like Mars is in the rushes. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer him shouting at us. At least you know where you are. Have care, sir. There is one very old Indian proverb which say that Krishna did not give Tiger sharp claws just to pick his nose with. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. But I vote, fellas, we give it a try. If he wants a soldier's song, we'll give him a soldier's song. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> How's he doing, Ashwin? Oh, well, sir, as a matter of fact, I'm writing a little skit for the concert party. I didn't know you were an author. Well, I, I dabble a bit. <laughs> What's it about? Well, uh, the scene takes place in this swamp on the Barbary coast. And Bombardier Solomons is seething with emotion because he's lost this beautiful Creole girl. Well, he comes on and he calls for her uh, like this. <clears throat> um, ti tum ti tum ti tum ti Chloe. <laughs> That's the name of the uh, beautiful Creole girl. <clears throat> There's no answer, of course, because she isn't there. <laughs> Absolutely distraught, he sings again. Um, ti tum ti tum ti tum ti Chloe. <laughs> By the way, he does that with an American accent. What, the umpty tumpty bit? No, the Chloe. Ah. <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought Gunnar Beaumont could dress up in a, a low sort of thing and be the Creole girl. I see, yes. Mm. What do you think of that, uh, Sergeant Miller? <laughs> I don't know what a keyhole girl looks like, sir. <laughs> I hope for her sake she don't look like Gunnar Beaumont. <laughs> well, I think he makes an absolutely first-class girl. Don't you agree, sir? Considering all the handicaps, yes. <laughs> You've just got a down on the concert party, Sergeant Major. That's the trouble. On the contrary, sir. I have just given them a little idea for a number myself. I made it up. Get out! Willingly, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Well, it's like this, Sergeant Major Sub. Bobby dear Solomon sends a message to say... Come in! With pleasure, Sub. What do you want? Sergeant Major Sub. Bobby dear Solomon Sub sends a message to say they have rehearsed concert party and they are ready for your auditing, isn't it? No. Oh. <laughs> well, if that's the case, sir, I'll uh, just go along and see how they're progressing with uh, my little scene. Carry on, Sergeant Major. I bet it's a rotten idea. <laughs> Ashford, I do wish you wouldn't keep putting this in my in tray. I didn't, sir. Well, I put it in my out tray. Well, someone must have taken it out of your out tray and put it in my in tray. Because I saw it in my in tray and read it and put it in my pending tray. And then I signed it and put it in my out tray. Well, someone must have taken it out of my out tray and put it in your in tray. Yes, well, you'd better file it, otherwise it'll start all over again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, actually, it's about the General's inspection next month. Shall I file it under G for General or I for inspection? I'd put it under N for next month. <laughs> what a good weasel. Right, chaps, this is the note. OK, on three. One, two, three. On the road to Mandalay, <laughs> where the flying fishes play. That's <laughs> my lovely boy. It's <laughs> on the road to Mandalay. January 1, February 2, March 3. What are you doing now, Ashworth? I'm counting, sir. April 4, May 5, June 6. Oh, crap. Oh, what a fool I am. What a complete fool. The General's coming today, the 25th of May. You see, I thought 25 oblique 5 was June, but it's not, is it? It's the 25th of May, and that's today. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> no harm done. What time's he coming? 1200 hours. And what's the time now? 1210. <laughs> <That is late. laughs> the whole camp is absolute shambles. Well, look, let's think of it. Look, you'll be coming in a staff car through the main gate. I'll get out of the main gate right away, sir. No, no, don't do that. Look, if you were a general inspecting the... Would you come in through the main gate? No, sir. I'd sneak in the back way and come in through that door. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. We were just expecting you. <laughs> and the dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. Yes, sir. What do you think of that? <laughs> Sergeant Major Sarbet is making me feel so proud to be British. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> Here you are, looking like soldiers, behaving like soldiers, and all dressed like soldiers. <laughs> Got you! Ice front! <laughs> Squad! Right down! As you were! Right down! Excuse me? Are you talking as a producer or as a BSM? Face your front! Face your front! As a BSM. <laughs> right, we all do the parade round! Quick! Mount! F-I-F-I-F-I-A! Absolutely disgraceful, Reynolds. Never seen such a shambles in all my entire life. Men on guard with every kind of uniform, four different colours of blanco, heaven knows how many hats, and you are responsible. I shall be putting in an address report about you to Delhi. But this is a holding unit, Be quiet. Yes, be quiet, Ashford. <laughs> Tell the truth, I don't think I've seen two soldiers dressed alike since I walked in through that gate. And you are responsible, Colonel. You are responsible. Who are those men? Uh, they're our concert party. A what? Conscripts, partly. <laughs> Actually. Well, they look smart enough. Oh, very smart. Who's responsible for them? I am, sir. Oh, really? Well, if you're responsible, responsible for them, that puts a slightly different complexion on things. Yes, I shall inspect them. Exactly, sir. The men like that sort of thing, you know. Anyway, it's good for their morale. Definitely, sir. What's that smell? Yes, what's that smell, Ashwin? Flowers, sir. Uh, flowers, sir, and I'm not responsible. <laughs> Sweet peas, actually. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Lathyrus odoratus. <laughs> I haven't smoked one of them since I left England. I grew them myself, sir. Would you like to inspect the men, sir? No, no, no. Leave them where they are for a bit. Now, tell me, how, how did you manage it? Well, my wife sent me the seeds. Did really? Yes, but of course, the most important of all, I have a few handfuls of John Innes compost in my kit bag. <laughs> would you care to have a closer look, sir? Yes, yes, I would indeed. I used to judge them in shows back at home, you know. Did you really? I'm absolutely fascinated. <laughs> General's here. He wants to inspect them. General, sir? Well, we, we'll have a little rehearsal, then, sir. <laughs> right. You, you, you're used to rehearsing, have you, boys, are you? Right. Watch it, then. Squad. General salute. Present! Ives! As you were, as you were! <laughs> oh, deliver it! What did you deliver it? Don't you come it with me. I'll give you wet shirts. Keep it down. The General's in the office. <laughs> Try again. Right. General salute. Present! Ives! 
As you were, as you were! You're trying to make a fool of me, are you? A fool! No, 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 no. We haven't got the music. What? When we're not singing, are we? If we were singing, we could do it beautifully, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Shut up! Come on, come on, son! You may not have noticed, but British other ranks do not sing when they're saluting general. <laughs> Couldn't you just stand or something? Shut up! <laughs> I'll try and put him off. That's a remarkable achievement. Really, quite remarkable. Well, I'm ready to inspect the men now, Reynolds. Oh, do you really want to, sir? There's no real need. I mean, they're just the same as all the other men, sir. Yes, well, I must say, I always find them rather boring. Yes, I mean, once you've seen one, you've seen the lot, sir. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'll look them over. Men lose heart if they're not inspected now and then, you know. Give the order, Sergeant Rayner. <laughs> Salute! Present! Ibs! Under order! Very smart. Very smart indeed. And, and who's the... Uh... Who's the native chap in there, singing the patriotic song? <laughs> yeah, come here, fellow. <laughs> oh, who are you then? General Saab, I, I have top hold job. I have honor to be bearer to concert party. <laughs> conscripts, they're bearer to the conscripts. Right. Yeah, General Saab, my father was bearer before he bore me. <laughs> my my great-grandfather was bearer in Indian mutiny. In fact, he was only bearer who was loyal to British. And Governor Saab gave him most expensive medal made of real copper and said he was only bearer who was bearable. <laughs> Why do we worry about the Empire, Reynolds? <laughs> but with men like these and loyal fellows like this native chappy here, we can... Oh, we can let all that namby-pamby talk from those wishy-washy politicians back home. <laughs> Quit India, indeed. No, I say. Not while we've got chaps like you. Spoken like a true General Saab. You are not quit India, Saab. Neither will I. If you don't leave India, then I'll not leave India. Sala, leave India or leave here? What's he saying? He said he will not quit India either, Saab. Well done. He said he will not quit India either, Saab. Well done. He said he had no other bleeding place to go. <laughs> Boys to entertain you! 